Hey guys, welcome back to the walkthrough. So we're just about to start episode two, Start for Help. It's gonna be some fun, let's get going. Of the walking dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when- You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. I never liked Larry anyway. Wanker. This is exciting. I bet I sounded weird there. <laughs> Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Won't happen again though, I'm sure. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! 
Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Hey, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. This trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Oh, oh crap. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Uh oh. This is gonna be painful, pal. There's gotta be something we can do! Lee, do something! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Try to get the chain! I'm so sorry, pal. So sorry. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, this is brutal. So brutal. Oh, dear God. Out. It's gonna bleed out unless we hurry up. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Ah! <laughs> That was a shame. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Going hungry. Nice. So that explains how, or that shows how fast things can go to shit in the walking day then. In a matter of minutes. Yeah, oh, Lily's not gonna be happy. Not at all. Oh dear. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell Don't have time to explain. Lee, Shit. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee, I, 
I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You've got nothing to say about that, Lee? You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Great. I know who I'm going to give it to. leave her out of this and we'll go to Clementine of course how you doing Clementine okay where's your hat I don't know can you help me find it sure when did you lose it I had it a couple days ago I promise if I find it I'll let you know thank you okay Clem I've got to take care of some things why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while Okay. Alright. Let's give her some food. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? All right, I'll give Duck some food too. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Here. Oh heck yes! Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. <laughs> Job chat. All right. Uh, let's see. Can't go that way. It's Doug. Will Look you up. hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Alright, give Max some food because he whines if you don't. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit.
Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! Same, eh? Alright. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that made it. 